Waiters slash waitresses, what is the worst first date you've witnessed? Girl and guy came into the barbecue restaurant I worked at. They met at the door exchanging the usual. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Etc. The guy was a complete <laughs> She ordered ribs and he said. Do you want to keep that hot figure of yours, or look like the chick over there? While he points to a slightly overweight woman, then when they were waiting to pay, he starts flirting with the chick behind them. She deadass waited until he paid, then left without waiting for the food. Meets girl at barbecue place, girl orders barbecue, tells girl if she eats barbecue she'll get fat. It's a bold strategy, Cotton, let's see if it pays off for him. Couple years ago, I was tending bar at a high-end steak joint. A pretty brunette walked in and sat down at the bar, after fixing her a cocktail, I asked if she'd like to see a dinner menu, she explained that she was waiting for a date. A few moments later, the guy arrived carrying a large bag. It was immediately obvious this date was their first, their conversation was lurching from forced to downright painful, when he reached into the bag and pulled out an album containing his Pokemon card collection. He set the book on the bar and thumbed through each page, thoroughly and lovingly describing every card, attempting to educate his date in the ways of Japanese pocket monsters. I'll be fair to the guy, dude was passionate. She feigned an emergency, and called her friend to pick her up, he stayed and ate a plain hamburger at the bar. Edit, both of these people were in their mid-thirties. If showing a girl your holographic Charizard card doesn't get you laid, then I don't know what will. I'm not even into Pokemon, but I've seen some of those holographic cards, and they are just really awesome little works of art. True, but bringing a collection of anything to a first date is probably a bad idea. A little more charm and their pants would have come off. Edit, thanks for the gym badge. Her jiggly puffs would have made his wiggly tough. Edit, wow first goal, and for a Pokemon sex joke of all things. I'm a girl who actually likes Pokemon well enough, I had the cards when I was a kid, I have a few of the Game Boy games, still as an adult, I would have effing fled too, this shows a total lack of social awareness. You gotta save the weird stuff for the third date, like a normal person. I was hanging out at Starbucks and witnessed a horrible date. She was Japanese and he started off by showing her his shirt with sumo wrestlers on it, then would ask questions like What's your favorite sushi? Do you only speak Japanese? How do you say toilet in Japanese? They have sumo in Japan right? Did you see my shirt? It was so amazingly awkward, I bought another cup of coffee to listen to the entire thing. I'm a host at a restaurant but my first week working, a gay couple got in a fight in the middle of their meal, drawing attention from everyone in the restaurant. Before my manager could step in and stop it one stood up and shouted. You are the reason most people are straight. And left. I've always thought about how it is both a roast or compliment, depending on sexuality. Witnessed a couple on their first date having a few drinks. Started making out by the third, dude cried by the fourth, started sucking on her finger, cried again, abruptly ran out of the bar, and down the street, she paid. Came back two weeks later, I pretended not to recognize him to be nice, and he brought it up. I think you served me on a date two weeks ago. Ah, uh, I dunno man, I serve a lot of people. Yeah it was you. Remember? I cried and ran away. Bruh. No better way to say, I don't give a f than bringing up the time you cried, and ran away from your date. Probably thought that it would be better, if he just ripped it off like a band-aid, rather than pretending that it didn't happen. I once saw a guy try and impress his date by pretending to know about wine. He then proceeded to pronounce every single one wrong, I don't even know how I would phonetically write out his butchering of Chablis and Sauvignon Blanc, Date looked at him like he'd just taken a sh** on the table. This isn't as bad as some of the others, but the guy and girl arrived separately, and it seemed like they were meeting for the first time at the restaurant, they sat down then the girl excused herself and went to the bathroom, the guy ordered drinks for them both, while she was gone. Then after like 30 minutes, ordered two meals. It was so obvious she wasn't coming back, but he kept calling her and eventually, just left all the food and drink untouched and paid the bill. 
I work at a pretty high-end steakhouse, I got sat with a table of two, and when I greeted them, I assumed they were a couple. It took them quite a while to order their food, I had to go back quite a few times and ask if they were ready, after an hour of them talking, ordering cocktails, and looking at the menu, they finally ordered, the woman ordered a filet mignon and the guy ordered our most expensive steak. Right before their food came out, I saw the guy get up and walk towards the bathroom. My co-workers ran their food to their table and the woman sat there with all the food in front of her, I thought he was coming back soon, but around 20 minutes went by, and there was no sign of him. My manager walked over to me and asked me what was up with them, I said the guy was in the bathroom, my manager went and asked her if she wanted us to keep the food under the warmer. She said yes, and the food was under the warmer for maybe an hour, while she sat at the table alone. I walked over to her, and asked if everything was alright, she immediately broke down, said it was their first date and that they met on Tinder, apparently, she told him that a steakhouse was a little much for a first date, and suggested coffee instead, but he said no. As they were sitting there talking, he looked at his phone and said. My daughter has an emergency. And he quickly got up and left. She was texting him after and he never replied. This girl bawled to me for 20 minutes, repeatedly saying. What's wrong with me? And I had to reassure her. He doesn't know what he's missing. Blah blah blah. I went over to my manager and asked what we should do about the check. He said he was stuck, because it was a $250 tab and that's too much to just not have her pay. After a few minutes of convincing him, I got him to take everything off the bill, I boxed up all the food, including his steak and sides, brought it over to her and told her to enjoy her night, she stopped crying, thanked me, and left, after writing this, I'm now wondering if they swindled me. There was this young guy eating dinner with his mom. I noticed they seemed weirdly uncomfortable and distant but didn't think much of it. Turns out the lady was not his mom, he had met her on a dating site and had been very clearly catfished, the lady was at least a good 20 years older than him. When she left the restaurant, he stayed behind and told me about what happened, then asked me out. I politely declined but agreed with him that, that was a really weird situation. Plot twist, it actually was his mother wingmanning for him by pretending to be an older lady who catfished him, so he could score a sympathy date with you. That would make for an awkward, meet the parents. Oh man, thanks for asking this one, I've got a great one. Happened at my former restaurant, reservation for 6 o'clock, young guy comes in a few minutes early, tells me he's kind of nervous, because it's a first date and he hasn't had many before, blah blah blah, kind of sweet really. Anyways, Girl arrives about half an hour late, and proceeds to get very, very drunk. About midway through the meal, she answers her phone, takes the call, and starts talking about her date, in front of her date, saying stuff like. Well, he's not usually my type, I don't exactly like him, but I felt like, ah, uh, why not? Right in front of him, young man looks so discouraged, walks up to me, pays his bill, and leaves. He's a really nice guy, he's come to the place I work at a few times. I'm not service staff, but I often eat slash drink alone and people watch, and first dates are almost always painfully obvious. Worst one I ever saw, two people who were probably perfect for each other, they were both completely self-absorbed. How completely? They both started stories and kept telling them at the same time, they weren't even listening, just talking at each other. I was enraptured by the sheer insanity of it, I didn't eat for like 45 minutes, as they both just yapped away, barely stopping. Girl was obviously super into the guy, and he seemed like he was at least somewhat interested. They both talked and joked with me, overall great table, cut to the check, I ask if it will be together, and the girl smiles at the guy, he promptly says. No. Separate please. Her face dropped, and he blatantly wrote his number on the check with a little note for me. That poor girl almost cried as she quietly shuffled out the door, what an ass he was. I've been a bartender for many first dates, where the dude pays a lot more attention to me, over his date, who is sometimes a legit girlfriend, it's so awkward. 
I love the girls who are nice slash joke about it, because the ones who aren't can be really f***ing rude and I have to smile and deal with it, it's not my fault, I can't leave. Trust me, I wish I could in those instances. Work at a bubble tea restaurant right near a college, it's a nice hangout spot with dim lighting, comfortable furniture, and board games, a lot of first dates happen here. Probably the worst I've ever seen was this guy that looked somewhere between 17 and 19 years old, who met up with this girl around the same age. They got teas and took a seat at a table and played a board game and talked. His mother sat at the table next to him the entire time and just stared them down. It made me feel so bad for him, but the icing on the cake is when she goes up to them at 8.30, and tells them that it's time for the two of them, her and her son that is, to head home. The guy is visibly pissed but says goodbye to her and follows his mom out. Girl comes up to order another tea and I asked her about it. She was more than happy to fill me and the other girls in, this lady had essentially injected herself into the date, interrupting their conversation and critiquing her son's behavior. Bartender here. So I used to work at a place that was well known for our wings, I had, what was obviously a Tinder date, go belly up. I greeted everyone and got the ball rolling. After a few drinks, I could tell they were very obviously into each other, I was happy that they were happy. But, as we all know, happens, and it was about to happen literally. I make a pass, back their way, and ask if they want to do another round. They both eagerly agree and while I'm making their drinks I hear the guy say. What do I have to do for a kiss? Ah, cute. The girl thinks for a second and then says. Eat a spoonful of their spiciest sauce. When I come back with their drinks, he asks me for a side of our hottest sauce. I tried so hard to talk him out of it. When that didn't work, I did the only other thing I could do, and grabbed my cook to witness this idiotic move. Cook brings out the sauce and gives it to the guy, we warn him one more time that this is an awful idea. Guy shrugs us off and tips back the little ramekin. Things were fine, at first. Tears were streaming down his face, I got him some milk. I think we are over the worst of it after 5 minutes pass, I was wrong. Dude kicks off his shoes, stands up, and runs to the back of the bar, as he is running, poop starts escaping his pant leg and leaves a trail, all the way to the bathroom, I couldn't believe it. He refused to come out until his date left, he never got the kiss. I just cannot believe this guy had the forethought, to take off his shoes before he publicly sh** his pants. To be fair, they were really nice kicks. Took a girl out, was playing Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder. She looks over at me and asks. Do you only listen to this kind of music all the time? Because she doesn't like it, as I'm driving her home she says. Wow. You're a pretty good driver for an Asian. Safe to assume she was not the one. Guy and a girl are sitting at the sushi bar, both order miso while they look at the menus. The waiter goes to take the rest of their order, and the guy picks up his menu and flips both bowls of miso directly into their laps. I hear him apologize, and he runs to the bathroom, I help the poor girl clean up the miso and herself, he comes back, says he has to go get his spare pants out of his car. He returns five minutes later in dry pants, and they power through the awkward rest of the date. She was probably quite impressed by the spare pants, there's a man who is always prepared. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell.